Hi, I'm Angelo Meyer. And it's Stark. And welcome back to your daily video announcements. Today for lunch, we'll have a BBQ pulled pork sandwich, cheesy potatoes, baked beans, zucchini slices, oranges, and a cold milk. Now, let's take a quick look at today's holidays. Next, let's take a quick glance at your top five news stories of the day. Here are today's top five news stories. U.S. to invest another $1 billion in rapid COVID test. Two, FBI says Zodiac killer cases is still open and new theory on suspect's identity gains attention. Three, gas prices higher since 2014 due to supply issues. Four, pumpkins may be harder to find this fall season and may be more expensive. Five, yellow jackets, wasps, and hornets are more aggressive this time of year. Remember, students, we have a shortened schedule today due to prep assembly. Now for an announcement on senior financial aid. Now for a future fairs announcement. Next, an announcement on powder puff football. Let's test students' knowledge with historian versus celebrities. Today we're testing students' knowledge on historical figures and celebrities. George Washington. Charlie D'Amelio. I don't know. Jake Paul. Ooh, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> no. I told you I wouldn't know. How about this girl? Charlie Emilio. How about this man right here? No. How about? Give me an easy one. Jake Paul. Uh, the guy on bottom. And then lastly, that woman on the bottom. Cardi B? Uh, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo? Ronald Reagan. One of the Paul brothers. Ben Franklin. Cardi B. Money. Now let's take a look at the Chiefs versus Eagles recap. Hey, welcome to the third edition of VCSC. I'm your host, Andrew Lobermeyer. Hold McDaniel and Mason Moeller. All right, so Chiefs looking good coming out of Week Three, uh, beating the Philadelphia Eagles at forty-two to thirty. Mason, what do you have to say about that? That defense, you gotta be kidding me. We need better defenders. Yeah. Although offense was looking very spot on. I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but Patrick Mahomes being able to get out of the pocket and scramble when he needs to, doing what he does, and getting that sidearm throws off, man, dude, stellar. What do you think, Holden? Yeah, our defense, we can't keep doing this. We, when we get to teams like the Bills next week, mm -hmm. our offense isn't going to be able to keep up. we got to have a defense that can get stops. I agree. Defense still being the weak leak of this team. But let's see how it goes in week four. We're your hosts at VCSC, Andrew Lomar. Old McDaniel. And Mason Moeller. Join in next week. Let's join Brayden Bynorth for a Guess the Character. All right. Our first contestant is... Here's craft. <laughs> the first character is. Uh, I don't know. A bird. A bird. <laughs> I, I regret to inform you that that is in fact King DDD from the Kirby series. Next character. Uh. Sands. Ladies and gentlemen, she's done it. She's guessed correctly Sans from Undertale. Next character. I, I don't know. It looks like an... I don't know. It is in fact Rules Card from Deltarune. Our first character. Oh, that's um... 
Louie <laughs> from <laughs> from um, Mario Kart or whatever, right? <laughs> it is in fact Luigi from like every Mario game ever. So I guess you get like a quarter of a point. Okay. The next character is. That character. It is in fact Magalore from the Kirby series. I'm not very surprised. And our final character. <laughs> His name is Squishy. Creative, but this is in fact Lubba from the Super Mario Galaxy series. Let's head on over to weather. Hi, my name is Dominic Carrillo, and the weather for today is going to be, the low is going to be 68 and the high is going to be 90. Now for a quick blast to the past, let's wrap up this day in history. Stay classy, BC. October 8th, 1871. Deadly fires scorch the upper Midwest. The Great Chicago Fire kills some 300 people, leaving 90,000 homeless in the Windy City. Even deadlier, the Peshtigo Fire in northeastern Wisconsin claims some 12 to 1,500 lives. Fires also broke out in three Michigan communities, Holland, Manistee, and Port Huron. 1982. Poland's government, then under martial law, bans all labor organizations, including the Solidarity Trade Union. But Solidarity survives the crackdown, playing a key part in the fall of communism in Eastern Europe. 1970, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, author and dissident in what's then the Soviet Union, wins the Nobel Prize for Literature. His work chronicles life under the repression and labor camps of Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin. And 1956, Don Larson of the New York Yankees pitches the only perfect game as well as a no-hitter in a World Series to date. That gives the Yankees a 2 to nothing shutout over the Brooklyn Dodgers in Game 5. Today in History, October 8th, Ross Simpson, The Associated Press. <laughs>